hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something very interesting today we are going to show you how you can um, download them um, bathymetric data online you know maybe whenever you want to carry out um, any form of tax like um, um, measurement of depth of um, water in oceans rivers or lakes we are going to show you one of the online um, resources or let's say repositories where you can what, download your bathymetry data or bathymetric data. Now, um, by bathymetry, we mean what the measurement of depth of water in oceans, um, rivers, or lakes, right? Good. Now, the bathymetric maps look a lot like a topo map, which uses lines to show the shape and um, elevation of fissures. So in this case, it shows what the shape and elevation of, let's say, the configuration here yeah, of the water body, or let's say, of the seabed, right? Good. So these are some examples, right? Good. So is the measurement of depth of water in oceans and rivers or lakes, and it looks like a topo map, right? Good. So we are going to show you how you can download what the bathymetric data now. One of the online repositories is actually what the Z Gepco, right? Good now, it's actually Gepco. So we have the Gepco bathymetry, yeah, right? And then we have what they are, we have their page, or let's say, yeah, their page, yeah. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. So in order for us to assess the, the data for us to download, we need to go out to downloads.gepco.net, um, um, right? Good. Downloads.gepco.net. Um, you can actually navigate through the official website, but we just um, want to do this is it. Gepco data download, right? So you can just open on a, on a new tab. Now, this is the interface. Yeah, this is the interface. This site is this let's leave that now this instruction is very important use the control let's say use control use keyboard control plus mouse left click and drag a box to select your region on the map now if you're using a mac use command key instead of control now you're going to understand that as we proceed so let's just um, uncheck that because we'll explain that so these are the words this is the word um, these are different grid versions that we have here Let's click on this to read what we have. Now, the global grid of elevation values in meters on a 15 arc second interval grid, right? But that's the explanation of what that gave code 2022. Now, it is published in June 2022. This version is for this version of grid values includes land, ice, and ice surface elevation information. So, these are like um, a description of what this particular selection means, right? Good. So you can decide to select any other option here. Yeah. This is more like a past, so let's say, yeah, an archive or something, 2021, 2020. So if you want to carry out an exercise that um, has to do with that, you can actually click on all of those. So now let's just stick with um, 2022, right? Good. Now the next thing is, this is our, let's call it, this is the glue. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can just navigate to wherever location your choice is, or maybe wherever you are located, right? So we are going to look at a particular region. Let's say, let's say, let's say, we are going to look at, um, let's look at this region. This looks more like um, Africa, right? Good. This looks more like Africa and this is Western Africa. So if you want to enter the boundary, you can actually enter your coordinates manually if you know your your boundary coordinate, which is actually very important. Or oh, yeah, it actually saves you some stress of trying to download data that exceeds your area. But if you don't know and you want to just um, have a wide range of data, just like we are trying to believe that this is Africa and then Nigeria should be somewhere around there because it's actually a Western African country, right? Good. So depending on your location, you can just um, navigate to that particular location on the globe or you can add what your coordinates here, which would 
allow you to want to navigate to that location right good so according to how they instructed us on using the site you just use the control and then you use your mouse towards to draw a box something like that so at the same time while you hold the control key on your keyboard you should also use your mouse to, to draw a polygon like this so this polygon now defines what your area of interest and you can also see automatically you have the the, the bordering coordinates being displayed in what the enter um, boundary box right good so this will now serve as our, what, our area of interest then this um, other tab um, specifies the format you want to download and we are downloading grid and then um, we are downloading or we want to download what a duty file which is more like um, an image extension which or a raster extension yeah let's say raster extension which we can what um, use on any gis package however we are using what qgis on this video so we click on raster then these the blue options are available only on the bathymetric grid then we just leave that we have what the different options here good we have different options here that shows us what what we have selected the grid data we are downloading is this then these are the coordinates that um bound or let's say yeah these are the bounding coordinates of the data we have downloaded that has already been indicated um, before now then we have what the file format then we have the grid dimension and the file size estimated right good so we can just decide to what, add it to what to basket then view the basket good so we have what our uh, um, data download and um, basket right good so we can just click on what download your data so depending on maybe the first time or the second time maybe depending on when you start using it you might be required to um, supply your email for the download link to be sent to your mail it's almost instant then you can just access the 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 download file or let's say you can access the file on your mail and then you just download it via the link that is provided however in this particular let's say at this particular time we are allowed to download it because of it's not the very first time i can see that so you can see the progress right good good so we have it downloaded we are going to move it to our preferred folder and we are now going to access it on what on qgis good so we've actually moved to our preferred um, our preferred folder we are just going to what, extract and see the content of that particular what, file all right you can actually take your time to read the terms of use and what the documentation and what we are more interested on or let's say yeah what we want actually is what the tip file so for us to be able to have a better picture of this let's now go to gis and then access it right good so we actually loaded what um, osm just to guide us maybe to locate whatever we are doing then we want browse good so this is actually the folder and this is the tip data we open add and close good now this is the tip data we've actually downloaded that um, shows what that gives us here yeah, the bathymetric data we've downloaded what from from Gipco, right good so we are trying to wow that was impressive it's actually covered um, the span of um, nigeria so we need to change what the the symbology so let's um, go to single band pseudo color then linear or discrete just discrete right good let's just use that however you can use linear because we are just trying to okay, let's use the linear right good then the color ramp let's use something like um, whatever you want to use however it should have um, a depiction of what you want finding it very hard to make any then the mode is what equal interval that has been classified already 
then we need it in five classes if you need more you can indicate if you need less you can also indicate let's just apply and then let's see how that um, how that goes okay okay this is actually fair enough it's fair enough all right so you can even see the the scale that um, shows what the different elevation that you have within your data set right good so you after changing the symbology or maybe after modifying the symbology you can also see you would actually see it for now but with this you can have a better representation of how the color range is and you can know okay which part is um, as high as they are which part is as low as they are and you know some other stuff and then we have the base map to to just help us um, should i say to locate wherever the data is to show that yeah we've actually downloaded for the preferred or let's say for yeah for our area of choice so if you can have the coordinates of your area of choice you can impute it on the and um, the coordinate um, tab there where you can um, show or let's say define your location right good so with this i think um, you are good to go so you can actually play with the symbology to get um, a better representation of what of your data so with this you can go ahead to let's say you can go on to create your bathymetric chart and you know do some other stuff with this particular data you've downloaded so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular survey or let's say yeah problem in hydrography we hope you find that site useful and then you explore as many information and useful tips here yeah, as many useful tips you can see on the site we are going to see you subsequently on the channel until then keep staying safe keep being good at what you're doing and have a very good time bye